Mobby a taxi man executed in front of students. Alright, so we could get into the story now. A group of students from Ryan Park in St. James were exposed to real terror yesterday morning when a man who was a passenger in the taxi in which they were travelling alighted from the vehicle, pulled a handgun and executed the driver as they looked on in arrow. We just hear the shot and see the picnic them are run, a resident of the community told. When we went and check it out, now the driver them kill. The deceased man who is a popular taxi operator in the parish has been identified as 51-year-old David Hilton who had been living in the community for several years. Hilton was the second person to die by the gun in the parish in a 24-hour window as shortly after 7 p.m. on Thursday an unemployed resident of York Bush in Mount Carey was shot and killed by unknown assailants. In the Ryan Park incident which occurred at about 8 a.m. Hilton was reportedly doing his customary very early morning transportation of persons from the community he picked up his alleged killer among his passengers along the way the man asked for a stop alighted from the vehicle and handed the driver his fear while the driver was searching for money to make change for the man he reportedly pulled a firearm pointed it at the driver head and opened fire when the police responded to the shooting the killer had already fled the location Hilton was found slumped over the steering wheel. He was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The blood catch me in my face and I start ball. One traumatized student told residents who rushed to the vehicle after the shooter fled. In the Mount Carey incident which occurred at about 7.15 p.m., residents reportedly heard several shots being fired in the yard. Shavar Talman Henry, when the shooting subsided, and they went to investigate, Henry was found suffering from multiple bullet wounds. The injured Henry was rushed to Conrad Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. The latest killings brings to 82 the number of persons murdered in St. James, which has been under the state of public emergency since the start of the year. Well, obviously, them gunmen don't care about state of emergency because if they cannot do them thing, they are soldiers, don't they? But the thing with that story here, you know, people. The man never killed the rest of people them in the car, which means say at the taxi man him come for. We don't know. We know how Jamaica stay. We don't forget things. So I don't know if the taxi man maybe this the man and him not remember him face or what. Moby is a place where the man them down there, them head hot. So if a taxi man this a man and you don't know who you are this, the man probably come back for you. You understand me? I say? You can't predict what going to happen. But I mean, what for us? Pray every day as we go out and just, you see me I say, be thankful to the Lord because we don't know what can happen and, you know, it's a sad situation. A Jamaica, we in a, if you even step on a man too in these times, you know it go, you see me, but them, them, them man in a care, them a kill in front of a student, baby, all police them a kill in front of. But anyway, subscribers, me just come for me, you know what I go on. Bless up, one love.